Welcome to the automated qPCR analysis tutorial. After starting the program, click on the load file button. Your file must be formatted following specific rules. Experiment name must be in column A, target name must be in column B, sample name must be in column C, and CT values must be in column D. All rows should all data should start in row 2. Row 1 should contain header names. When you click on the load file button, I can load up my data set. I'm going to load the sample data set which is included with this package. Because my sample data set only has one worksheet, I don't need to worry about this drop down box. But if you're using a worksheet or an Excel workbook with more than one worksheet, you'll have to select the worksheet containing your data and then press the Get Data button to load it into the program. As you can see, I have my experiment over here. Each experiment when selected will load the targets and samples associated with it into these boxes here. Then I had to select a housekeeping gene for this experiment, it's actin, uh, and then a control sample which is GFP for this experiment. Then I can click the run analysis button to run my analysis. I'll give them the option to save the worksheet as a new Excel file and if I can open that Excel file, save it as experiment 1, and as you can see experiment 1 has nice graph data. It's been normalized. Uh, the first worksheet in this experiment uh, has the data organized uh, on the x-axis by sample. The second graph shows the data organized uh, on the x-axis by target. And then the final third graph shows data organized with p-values to give an indication of statistical significance. I hope you enjoy using the software. Goodbye.